I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to use completing the squares method to find x intercept for a quadratic equation given in standard form. Question here is determine the x intercept of the quadratic function using completing squares method. So I'll show you example with the I'll actually do two questions in this video. Well they are slightly different but yes is reviewing completing the squares method itself. First equation is f of x equals to minus x square minus 4x plus 7. The other one is f of x equals to 2x square minus 8x minus 5. So let's begin by completing the squares and then we'll find the x-intercept. When we say x-intercept, what does it mean? x-intercept really mean that at x-intercept f of x is equal to 0, right? So we'll substitute 0 for f of x and then solve for x. That is what the question means. So let me write 0 here and then 0 equals to minus x square minus 4x plus 7. For completing the squares, we have to take the coefficient of x square common. Taking minus common, we get x square plus 4x plus 7. And then next step is we have to do half of this number, right? Half of 4 is 2. Add square of that half number, right? So, which is kind of like this. Now, the first three terms become a perfect square. And we can take plus sign and 2 whole square. We are left with minus 2 square, which is minus 4 plus 7. Now, we can open the bracket. So, which gives us x plus 2 with a negative sign, so there is no need to write this, we are opening the bracket now, minus and minus becomes plus 4 and we have plus 7. So we can write this as minus x plus 2 whole square and 7 plus 4 is 11 for us. Now to find the x intercept we have to solve for x, so we will take 11 on the left side, correct? So that is completing the squares. Once you get completing the squares, then you have to find the value of x. Now let's take 11 to the other side. So we get minus 11 equals to minus of x plus 2 whole square. Now to solve this question, what I will do is, okay, now since we have run out of space, I will spill it over to the right side, right? So let us now solve it further on the right side. So let me just, just take it on this side and show you how to do it. So we'll divide by minus, so what we get here is, let me write x plus 2 whole square first. So we have x plus 2 whole square equals to, when you divide by minus, you get 11. Now you square root it. When you square root, you get x plus 2 equals to square root of 11. Remember, whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus. So that gives you two values. One value is x is equal to minus 2 plus and minus square root 11, correct? So these are the two x-intercepts for the given equation. One value is minus 2 plus square root 11, the other one is minus 2 minus square root 11. And therefore we get our x-intercepts as x equals to minus 2 plus square root 11 and minus 2 minus square root 11, correct? So that is how you can actually find the x-intercepts by using completing the squares method, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. Now let's also do the next one. So most of you can actually pause the video, follow these steps, do it yourself, and here's the solution for the next one. So we will take 2 as a common factor from the first two terms. We get x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now we'll do half of minus 4, well, half of 4 we'll do, which is 2 square minus 2 square. So it's very similar to the previous one. The only thing here is that we had 2 to be taken as common. So exactly same steps you need to follow. So we get x minus, since this is minus, x minus 2. So these are fine differences which you need to consider, okay? Minus 4, okay? Minus 5. And then open the brackets, you get 2 times x minus 2 whole square, and this is minus 8 and minus 5. Multiply 2 with both, right? So you get 2 
times x minus 2 whole square minus 13, right? Now, since we need to find the x-intercept, we will equate this to 0, right? So, we say f of x equals to 0. That is what x-intercept is. And solve for x. So, we get 2 times x minus 2 whole square equals to taking 13 to the right side. Divide by 2. x minus 2 whole square equals to 13 divided by 2. Now, square root it. So, we get x minus 2 equals to plus minus square root of 13 over 2, right? Let, let's use fractions. And then x is equals to, let me push this page a bit. Okay, so we get taking 2 to the right side, 2 plus and minus square root of 13 over 2. So that becomes our answer for the x-intercepts. I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. So that is what you should be doing to find x-intercepts from quadratic equation using completing the squares. Can you tell me alternate way of doing it? Well, you can always use quadratic formula. But since it was mentioned, completing squares method, we followed this method. Uh, remember, the formula is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. So what you can do now is apply the formula and verify your results. So that is an exercise for you. You need to check your answer, right, using the formula, right? See whether you get the same formula, same result or not. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.